which equation is parallel to the x-axis. Well, remember, you have your two axes here, right? You have your y-axis and your x-axis. And an equation that's parallel to the x-axis would look something like this line right here. And when you have this line up here, the only thing that's constant about it is its height from the x-axis. So perhaps maybe the height of this is 3 or 4, right? So 1, 2, 3. So here, y equals 3. The height equals 3. And all these different points have different x values, right? So the slope isn't going up or down. And y is always equal to 3. In that case, we would call this line y equals 3. If we had a line, let's say, down here, well, maybe that would be y equals negative 3. If for any of these lines that are parallel to the x-axis, they're going to be in this form where y equals some number because the slope is equal to 0, it's a flat line, and the height is the only thing that's, con it's the only thing that's constant. So here the choice is 1, y equals negative 5. All these other lines here are not parallel to the x-axis. Let's just take a look. If x equals 3, 1, 2, 3, that's a vertical line, right? This That would be x equals 3. If y equals negative 5x, that would be a slope with a, a line with a negative slope, so down 5, slope is negative 5, down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1 through the origin it would be this, this steep line here, y equals negative 5x. x equals 3y, well I divide 3 on both sides so I can get x divided by 3 equals y, and now you have a line with a positive slope of 1 third, so up 1 over 3. So we have a point like right there. So that would be this less steep but positive line, x equals 3y or y equals 1 third x. So the only parallel lines here are when y equals something and x equals something, however, is parallel to the y-axis.